Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Harling. I am back. I am doing Paige, and let me just show you what Paige I'm doing so you can see from the Go Math in your packet. We are doing page 570. We are still in lesson 10.2. Okay, today is Monday again, uh, May 4th, 2020. So please find in your math packet for Go Math page 570 that is what i'm doing and if you look at my calendar today is monday and you can see that i put it's day six i'm doing lesson 10.2 which is page 570 i'm also going to give you a homework to do i'm going to go over some of the questions in the homework and then i'm going to ask you to do the rest on your own and then if you look real close i wrote something here math j it stands for math journal i want to do that extra math packet that was sent along with this one and i'll show you that in a little bit but let's first get started with the go math at the top it says unlock the problem there's a picture of a father and daughter over on the right hand corner so let's take a look at what it says it says leah and her father arrived at the scenic overlook 15 minutes before noon all right, then it goes on to say, using a.m. or p.m., write the time when Leah and her father arrived at the scenic overlook and the time when they left. Now, remember, lesson 10.2 is about using a.m. and p.m. That was our learning target. How will we know when to use a.m. or p.m. after the time? I can tell when it's a.m. or p.m. after the time. So it says they want us to break this problem down. So the first thing they're asking is, what do you need to find? Please write the time, including a.m. or p.m that Leah and her father arrived and we're just going to say um cuz they were looking at an overlook so it's arrived at the overlook and I'm going to stop there and let you copy but that's what we need to find the time including a.m. or p.m. that Leah and her father arrived at the overlook because the picture shows them looking at the beautiful scene and we also need to know the time that they left so that's what the a.m. and the p.m. Um, stand for what time they got there and what time they left we have to use both of those in order to find out uh, what time they arrived and what time they left all right so please copy that again pause the video if you need to if I'm going too fast letter B what do you need to find first first we need to find the time they arrived. We're also going to find out the time that they left, but we also have to find the time that they arrived. So please copy that as well. So again, we're finding the time that Leah and her father, uh, the time that they arrived to the scenic overlook and the time that they left the scenic overlook. So we have to find two answers here because that's what it says. Write the time when Leah and her father arrived at the scenic overlook and the time that they left. All right, letter C. It says describe a method. Show the steps you used to solve the problem. Okay, again, Leah and her father arrived at the scenic overlook 15 minutes before noon. So that's important, you need to underline that. 
15 minutes before noon. So first we're gonna find out what time they got there. So here we're gonna say they arrived at 15 minutes before, oops, let me zoom out here so you guys can or move this over, before noon. Whoopsie. And I'm just going to underline that part. So that was right from the question. They got there, or excuse me, that came right from the uh, problem, that they got there 15 minutes before for noon so if it's not noon yet it's not the noon hour yet what hour comes before that if you said 11 o'clock you're right so we know it's 11 a.m because it says they got there before noon and that's still the morning then now we got to figure out the minutes so 15 minutes before for noon. Let me just show you on a clock. If Miss Harling was to draw a real quick clock here, because I left my clock in the other room, and I want to do this quick for you guys. Seven, eight. Okay. And we know it's not noon. We already just said it's the 11 o'clock hour. It will soon be noon but we're gonna leave that there. And it's 15 minutes before you get to the 12th. Remember what I showed you on that poster? Every three sections on a clock represent 15 minutes. So if we were to go from one, two, three here, that would be 15 minutes, but that would only be 11.15. It's almost noon. If we did this section here, um, 5, 10, 15, it would only be 11.30. That's going toward noon, but it's a little bit closer than that. If I did these three sections, 5, 10, 15, yes, this is where I need to be, my friends. Because watch what I do. The next three sections take me to noon because this is 45 minutes, right? So this would be 50, 55, and then that would be 12 o'clock. Or I could count it as a 15 minute interval, okay? So this would be um, 5, 10, 15. So from here to here is 15 minutes. So in 15 minutes, it will be noon if the long hand is on the nine. So what time does that clock show? That clock shows 11.45. We knew it was the 11 o'clock hour, but 45 minutes have gone by, which means in 15 minutes, it will be noon. So that's what time they got to the scenic overlook. Then it goes on to say, please copy, they left 12 minutes after noon oops not writing moon i'm writing noon sorry n o o n please underline 12 minutes after noon so again here is my clock oops And it's the 12 o'clock hour, and they're about to leave, and it says 12 minutes after. So if I look at these times, this is 5, this is 10, this is 15. I can't go on the 3 because that's 15 minutes. It's got to be 12 minutes. So if I count back, this would be 14, this would be 13, this would be 12. So here, the long hand would be right there on the 12. Let me show you a little bit closer if you guys can't see that. 
All right, so there's 12 o'clock as the shorthand, and then the longhand tells the minutes there's 12 uh, minutes that have gone by. So what time is it, my friends? It's 12, 12. Please write. Now, going back, this is before noon, so it's a.m. This is after noon, so this is what? P.m. Make sense? So now, all we have to do is fill this in. They arrived at 11.45. Write that on the little line. And then the next line, it's blank M. There should be an A here. Then it goes on. They left. We figured that out. Write that on the little line. 12.12. 12, and that's PM. So let me just zoom out here a little bit and make sure that you can see everything that I wrote. I'll leave it here for a few seconds. Again, pause the video if you need to. But we answered letter C and letter D. They arrived 15 minutes before noon, that's 1145. They left 12 minutes after noon, that's 1212. And then we filled those answers in for letter D. Alrighty, I'm going to the bottom again. Please pause the video if you need to, but I am going to move along. It says the Davis family spent the day at the lake. Write the letter for each activity next to the time they did it. So here are the activities. Went swimming soon after lunch. Ate breakfast at home. C. Watched the sunset over the lake. D. Got to the lake cabin in the morning. And E had sandwiches for lunch. So the first time they give us is 9.50 a.m. Which one of these activities do you think they did at 9.50 a.m.? If you said got to the lake cabin in the morning, you are correct. Because if you notice, this is the only time that shows a.m. So we're going to put D here. Or no, I'm sorry, there is another time that shows a.m., but this one makes sense to get to the boat, uh, to get on the boat and go to the cabin. All right, 7 o'clock p.m. What would you do at 7 o'clock in the evening? C, watch the sunset over the lake. So please write C. All right, 12.15 p.m. Now, that's 12 o'clock, boys and girls, in the afternoon not midnight what do you do at 12 o'clock in the afternoon or 12 15 in the afternoon if you said had sandwiches for lunch that is right that's e letter d got to the lake cabin in the morning or excuse me 1 30 um p.m there's only a few things left if you said went swimming after lunch, that makes sense. A goes here. And the only one left is B, 7 a.m., early in the morning. You could have eaten breakfast. Okay, so there's all your times for that. Please fill that in. I'll give you a few seconds to do that, or you can pause the video. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, you have homework because now we are finished with lesson 10.2. So at the top, you'll see it says practice and homework, lesson 10.2. Today is Monday, May 4th, and I put a sign, which means this is for you to do. And again, what were we learning in 10.2? AM and PM. So you're going to do all of these on your own except for a few. I'm not doing two, three, four, five or six, I'm not doing seven, I'm not doing eight, I'm not doing nine, let's see, 10. All right, I'm not doing 10. I'm definitely doing number 11, you'll see that I circled it, so I'm definitely gonna do that with you because I normally do that with you uh, in class before I assign your homework. So what does it say? It says, write your schedule for the day, list uh, each activity with its starting time and write a.m. or p.m. for each time. Okay, so we're going to list the activity and what time we start it. So here is an example. Eat, 
breakfast today Ms. Harling had some granola and yogurt and fresh um, fruit and you know I eat that a lot so what time did I do that 8 30 if I did it in the morning it's a.m. then I got dressed I also did that in the morning and I did it about 9 15 so I'm gonna put 9.15 a.m. or p.m. a.m. Now you can write what you want, but I'm giving you examples here, okay? So let me just zoom out for a minute. I wrote ate breakfast at 8.30, got dressed at 9.15, okay? Then over here, another thing I do, or I'm gonna do today, is I'm gonna have lunch. And I'm gonna have lunch at noon. Now, if I'm having lunch at 12 o'clock noon, that is starting the second half of the day. So would that be a.m. or p.m.? That would be p.m. And then the last thing I'm going to put is that I ate dinner, or I'm going to eat dinner today, later. And that will be 6.30. And will that be a.m. or p.m.? That's going to be p.m. Okay, so let me leave it here for a few seconds so you guys can copy or write your own, but you have a great example there to help you and guide you through. You don't have to write what I wrote. You can write your own. All right, I'm going to the back, page 572. I'm sorry, that first page was 571 for the homework. Now it's 572. You know the Go Math homework is usually two pages, front and back. So now I'm on page 572. All right. I'm not doing one and two at the top. I'm going to do number four. So go down and find number four in the middle of the page. It says there were 50 toothpicks in each box. Jamie buys four boxes for her party platter. How many toothpicks does Jamie buy? Well, they started with the largest number because that's how many are in each box. How many boxes did she buy? Four. So we're going to multiply or divide. She's got 50 toothpicks in each box, but I need to know how many total toothpicks that is because it says how many toothpicks does she buy? We are multiplying and we have done two digit multiplied by a one digit. So you're writing 50 and then you put the number four in the ones place under the zero. So now let's multiply. In the ones place, four times zero is zero. And then we take four again and multiply it in the tens place. Four times five is 20. So how many total toothpicks are there? Out of the four boxes, 200 toothpicks. Make sense? I'm not doing number five, and I'm not doing number six. So this is tonight's homework, ladies and gentlemen. You have two pages to do for lesson 10.2 at the top. It says practice and homework. I wrote Monday, May 4th, assign a.m. and p.m. That is your homework. So if you go back to my calendar for today, um, you will see this is what I did. Day 6, lesson 10.2, page 570. Then I assigned the homework, pages 571 and 572. You can ignore this math journal. I'm going to do that tomorrow because I've, I'm almost at 19 minutes for this lesson, so I don't want to do it anymore. So again, I did lesson 10.2. I did the one page we had to do, 570, and then I assigned the homework, 571 and 572. So tomorrow I will go over this homework page that I gave you for homework tonight, and then we'll go on and move to the next lesson. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great Monday. Bye, guys.